Hey YouTube, welcome back. We are now a week into April and finally approaching the next holiday event, which is of course Bunny Day 2022. We haven't seen an actual holiday event since Festival back in February, so I think we're ready for something a bit different to celebrate. In a few days time, Zipper himself will stop by to host the event and introduce the largest collection of event themed furniture and clothing items in the entire franchise, which is pretty exciting. Of course, if you enjoy Animal Crossing videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and please leave a like it really helps other players find these videos anyway we do have some very interesting changes to highlight for bunny day compared to last year so here are five bunny day changes you should know number one event dates now one of the most significant changes to Bunny Day that has been introduced since the launch of the game is to the length of the event. Bunny Day now only runs for 8 days instead of the 12 days it used to so it's now much shorter. Furthermore like some of the mid year holiday celebrations Bunny Day is one of those events that takes place on different dates depending on the year. This year Easter celebrations fall much later compared to most years so Bunny Day is celebrated on April 17th. So combining the shorter version of the holiday along with the much later event, Bunny Day now takes place from April 10th through to April 17th. Number 2 Cherry Blossom Trees Now given the dates of Bunny Day vary from year to year, sometimes even beginning in March, Bunny Day often overlaps with the cherry blossom season that we're now currently experiencing here in the Northern Hemisphere. This means the rather interesting looking leaf egg cherry blossom trees can sometimes be seen around the island if the two events overlap. This year the cherry blossom season comes to an end on April 10th like it does every year which happens to be the same day Bunny Day begins, so for one day only it will be possible to see the leaf egg cherry blossom trees before they revert back to ordinary hardwood trees. It also means that's the only day it's possible to get wood eggs from cherry blossom trees, which is pretty cool if you like those kind of details. Unfortunately, given the cherry blossom season is tied to seasons rather than dates like Bunny Day, players in the southern hemisphere never get to experience these trees on their islands. Number 3 Beautiful Ordnance Now thanks to the 2.0 update that released close to 6 months ago now, it's possible to enact a variety of ordinances on your island to change the way your island works. One of those ordinances is of course the Beautiful Ordnance that slows the spread of weeds, increases the chances of flowers breeding and stops cockroaches spawning. However when the Beautiful Ordnance is enacted it also stops trash items such as old tyres, empty cans, boots and stones spawning in the water which makes it much nicer for fishing if you're doing it for long periods of time. Anyway, one of the eggs found during Bunny Day is of course the water egg and is found by fishing. And if you enact the beautiful ordnance, it will be much easier to find them during the event. So if you want to unlock all of the water egg clothing items and craft a bunch of Bunny Day themed furniture, you're going to want to enact the beautiful ordnance before spending time hunting for water eggs. Number 4 Mystery Islands Now it's not exactly difficult to find all the different kinds of eggs but there is a random element to the spawn so some players may find it easier than others to find certain egg types. Anyway an excellent way to increase the chances of finding the eggs you're looking for is to search for eggs on Mystery Islands. This is because eggs as a crafting material have a much higher drop rate on Mystery Islands. This is great news for those with very few trees or hardly any rivers and things like that. Now, the reason this is different to previous years is because that's also true for boat tours and many islands you travel to using Capin. So if you head on a boat tour every day as part of your daily routine, be sure to spend a little longer there and gather some extra bunny day eggs if you see them, as you'll be able to collect more much quicker and save yourself some time. Number 5 Rainy Days Moving on, one of the changes to Bunny Day we've already mentioned is of course to the days of the event. Bunny Day runs for a little over a week and this year takes place after the cherry blossom season has finished. So because of this change, players in the Northern Hemisphere may also see changes to their weather patterns and weather phenomena. This is because for the duration of the cherry blossom season, it's impossible to experience any rain, heavy rain or thunderstorms and things like that. But because Bunny Day falls in the week after the cherry blossom season this year, there's every Every chance you'll be collecting bunny day eggs, finding bunny day recipes and crafting items in the rain. In fact on my island I will see rain for most of the day on 4 out of the 8 days of the event not including April 17th which is actually bunny day as this event automatically sees sunshine. 
So there we have it, some very small changes to Bunny Day 2022, but still super interesting to compare how the event unfolds compared to previous years. But what do you think about Bunny Day? Are you excited to be collecting eggs again? And will you be enacting the beautiful ordinance? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thank you so much to all the patrons and channel members for supporting this content. And until next time, have an amazing day, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.